Just between you and me, I always rest here between pilgrimages. <laughs> oh, that's great. Just between you and me. Ooh, another skill book. Acrobatics. Well, well, well. Another point into strength. We're about to level. That's, uh, we need to, yeah, I need to stop do like leveling and stuff. I need to at least get 10 points in endurance before I completely ruin this character. Okay, so let's go fight a couple of things again then. Where are we? We are here. We're pretty far from Balmora though. So if I um, see the intervention, I'm pretty sure it'll take us to Vivek, the Vivek Temple. Uh, so I could potentially... Ooh. Ah, we can head west a little bit and then see about making our way up to Marandus. And maybe doing the Mage Guild quest. Yeah, I think I might do that. So definitely want to start heading back. Oh, okay. There we go. That tiny little jump. Piddly little jump. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. What have I gotten myself into? Like, uh, can I get out of this river anywhere? doesn't involve just a bunch of rocks in my way. Alright. So. No, head back first, then a bit north. So let's cross this bridge. Start heading north. I'm assuming if if we're able to just follow this river. And once we get to sort of the mages guild area or quest area. It looks like from there, an OM CV intervention will take us to Balmora. We'll be, I, I believe we'll be... <gasps> oh! That's a Daedric Ruin. Oh dear. Oh, I'm gonna have to remember that. Here, let me just write this down somewhere. All right. Daedric Ruin, slightly north of Suran. I don't know how much I can just keep following this river around these mountains. It seems to be pretty inhospitable terrain. I don't know if I can make it up here. Yeah, yeah, I could. All right. So this might be a bit too steep. Yeah, that's just ever so. Ah, that is unfortunate. How about around here? Oh. Can I, can I actually make it? No, can't make it up there. All right. What if I jump from here? No. No. Maybe I actually follow the river, like go into the river. That might be somewhat worthwhile. Are these things going to aggro onto me? Let's get our rest of Saint. 
Maris, because we have two shots at that. Beautiful. And are these things going to aggro onto me? I don't know. But we've got a fire dart. But I'll wait till I'm at full fatigue to cast. Ah, well that one aggroed onto me. Good cast. Nice hit. Oh, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, is it stuck? Ah, there he comes. Good. Alright, well let's go ahead and get into the water then. We might come up across some slaughter fish and whatnot. They're pretty easy to kill. Shouldn't be too much of a hassle. And let's start heading north in the actual water. Death to all Alit. And we'll just delete that corpse without taking the skin or hide. Ancestral tomb, it looked like. Yeah. Vandus. Vandus Ancestral Tomb. Wouldn't mind going in, maybe resting first to regain my magica. There we go. And maybe a couple of repairs into my spear. should do it. Lock level 10. Easy enough. Ooh, bunch of spirits. Your fire spells have little to no effect on me. First ectoplasm. Thank <laughs> you. 
regular bone walker again. They don't have the um, the permanent stat drain thing. That's pretty good. As long as it's not permanent, I'm fine. Invocation of Azura. Halgard's Tale. That's another skill book. Mm. What would this be? Heavy armor. Okay. That's also pretty expensive. What can I drop? Yeah, I think we could just replace it with one of the bone mold bracers that I'm not going to be using anymore. So, we'll just drop one of those right there, and there we go. Oh, you have a... what is that? Is that oh, that looks like a, an iron halberd. Ah, that's unfortunate. Pretty basic. Petty Soul Gem. Oh, Fire Salts. Oh no, I don't want Hound Meat. That weighs way too much. Just put that right there. Put that back where we got it from. from that. That's a pity. We keep running into this overweight problem. Ah, crab meat. 0.5, huh? Raw glass. 2 to 200. Yes, I will take that. I will take... All of that. Iron, spear, wooden staff, right. Okay. And we just throw away another bone mold bracer. Life Ring. Restore health 10 points on self. Ah, so another healing ring. That is, um... That's pretty... That's really nice. That is really, really nice. What's the charge usage on that? If I were to replace, for example... That... Oh, whoops. What's the charge? Life ring, 15 charge. And... Ah, so it's one use. No, it's not one use. Why does it say... Why did it say 15 before? Oh, was I looking at the wrong place? Okay, it's, it's three... So it has five uses! This ring heals 50 hit points. Wow! That is, um... That is incredibly good. I think Fargoth's healing ring has seen its days. Yeah. So if I have the Heartbite ring 
and the life ring, I can heal myself very, very nicely and harm others very, very nicely. That's phenomenal. Phenomenal loot. What was that that I just picked up? That had an incredibly high value. Was it fire salts? I, th I, I thought I saw it had a value of like a hundred or something like that. Or, ah, this must have been the Drew Wax. Yes. Yes. Right. Let us continue onwards. Up to nine endurance, one more, and we can uh, start thinking about strength. Strength training. Probably going to have to put a lot of that into armorer because we're almost at uh, level up. Okay, so now we should be... Yes, we're just to the east of Marandus. So if we start heading west, I'm hoping we can just kind of make it there without too much hassle. Yes, there it is. There's Marandus. What a lovely stronghold. Oh, you are a, you are an aggressive guar. I don't know if Marandus is filled with friendly Dunmer and all that that kind of stuff or if it's also one of these terrifying aggressive strongholds. It's only one way to find out, I guess. This is a very large stronghold, though, looks like. I don't know, maybe it's the same size. Yeah, it seems to be the same size. You are... not aggre... Let's put my weapon away. You're not aggressive to me, okay. Tevin Athin, right. So... So, nice fort, right? No one going to kill... Oh, no. Everyone wants to kill me. Right. So that person outside is aggressive to me. But you are not. You actually like me. What's the deal? I don't understand why sometimes there are people that are fine with you inside of a fort and people that aren't. Who are you? What's your trade? You're a barbarian. I'm proud of it. Okay. I like the wilderness. How about here in the... Is this word pronounced propi propylon or propylon? I don't know. Propylon chamber. There's a rat. A diseased rat. <coughs> oh. Why are two things attacking me? Ah, because there's another rat. Right, so this is the rat chamber. No, I can't pass through there. Do I die if I go through here? Let's quick save. No. Totally fine, okay. Quite the conundrum, this, uh, this whole weight thing. I guess 
that kind of helps. There we go. Right, so, Marandus, um... Where were these people? Quests, Mages Guild, recruit or kill Larar Bereloff. Right, Ranas asked me to convince Larar Bereloff to join the guild. If he cannot be convinced, I must kill him. To get to Sulipund, I should leave Balmor... No, no, no. But what about Marandus? Uh, tell me about M Marandus. There was something about Marandus. Mm. Okay, Sulipund. Further along the trail from Punabi. Punabi. Here we go. Head north from Marandus on the path between the hills. Punabi will be on your right, and Sulipund is further up the path on the left. So just head north from Marandus on the path between the hills. Right. Sadly, it's kind of a disgusting, windy, ashy day right now. I guess as long as we can find a path north of Marandus. It looks like a path up in the distance. Yeah, it should just be up there. just to get a little bit of fatigue back so I can actually hit stuff at an appropriate rate. Ah, right here, yes, with a... Uh, with a signpost and everything. It's convenient. Uh, Mount Asarnibibi. Mount Kant Molag Mar. And Belmora, Pelagiad, and Vivek are all that way, just straight to the w Why is Vivek west? I guess the road probably bends around down here. Not sure. I'm sure there's a path. I don't know. I don't know. But that's the signpost, and. So be it. Right, north on a path from Marandus should take us to Sulipund and Punabi. These names are so phenomenal. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Trauma root. Mm. Ah, that's a trauma shrub. Ah, yes, the shrubs are all just one, and the individual roots are individual. Okay. Spear skill 35. There we go. Okay. That should be 10 endurance points. Yep, 10 endurance points. Okay, so in that case. We are going to, one, pick up a little bit more trauma root, because this all turns into levitate potions. And two, we're going to mark and... Yeah, we're going to mark right here, but is this one of the places I need to go to? Punabi, yes, yes it is. Okay, beautiful. We will mark right here then. Mark, 68% chance. Let's wait for our fatigue to go up a little bit. I want to get into the 70s. Seventy-three percent. Good thing that went off without a hitch. Do not level my medium armor. Do not level my medium armor. Okay, now we will um, see you back to Balmora. Hopefully, hopefully we don't go to like Vivek or something. 
No, Balmore, it is good. Now we unload, level up while we train some strength, and recall back to Punabi. Speak quickly. There it is. And we can sell books. Yes, we can sell um, the Kaguti mating ritual thing and Halgard's tail. Yes, we can sell these books. 178. How about 180? Good. Yes. We're gonna be going to that bookseller quite a bit, I feel. Now, Wayne would probably you like a couple of magical arrows. Five. And bone mold stuff for 353. About 355. That sounds better, doesn't it? Yes. Offer. Good. Now. <laughs> I like what I see. Alright. So I've got three points into strength. And I can only do three in terms of. Um, or is it acrobatics? So I'm going to need to put, what is that, four? Yeah, four into Armorer. Wayne, would you like to train us four times in Armorer? Okay, wonderful. Now, I just need to go do a little bit of jumping. That took a lot of time. daytime already just from a little bit of training there we go acrobatics up to 23 rest and meditate on what you've learned don't mind if I do Go ahead and go sleep in the Mages Guild after we unload all of our ingredients and stuff. May I help you? Not just now, Rannis. Thank you very much. I'm on a mission to go sleep in a bed. But first. Unload time. Wow, 57 salt tries. That's quite a bit. 64 marshmallows. <laughs> That's what I've been carrying around all this time. The ingredients. Same as always. Some of the most precious stuff in this game. Just a bunch of ingredients. I don't know where to get resin from. I don't... I've never seen resin out in, I guess you could call it the wild. Um, I, I've never found a tree or plant or any kind of, like, n bark or... I've even tried to, like, attack trees and I've never been able to find where resin naturally comes from. So I don't know where to get it. Um, because I'm, I'm pretty sure you can get everything naturally except for of course you know like um like em emeralds and diamonds and you know that kind of stuff uh, like that's all in chests or in specific places randomly found but everything else has an actual place you can get it from you know if you want to if you want a bunch of ectoplasm you keep going to um ancestral tombs that have ghosts and you kill ghosts a bunch of times if you want guar hides you kill a bunch of guars if you want a bunch of marshmallow or crush fiber or whatever hack a low leaf you go to places that have those plants and you farm them i don't know where resin comes from though i think resin resin and moon sugar are kind of the ones that uh you know, you don't really have a place where they come from. At least not that I know of. If anyone... If the ten people that have watched these videos so far know where resin comes from, please let me know. <laughs> right. So, nice and empty. Ten points in strength, ten points in endurance. 
one in luck.